Hello. Hi there, handsome. Hello. Uh, can I see what you discovered? Like? Sure. Take a look. I'll take these. Those. All this duct tape. Take all this dirty water. Intense. Pay more money. Purified water. No, I don't want the teddy bears. Scrub electronics. Yes. No, I won't trade with you. <laughs> gotcha. Hey, <laughs> got me. Kind of goofy. Uh, let's see here. I'll just take that. And some of these. This. Some of these. Sunset Sarsaparillas, yeah, that, there. Oh, I'm not good at math. Is that, is that it? Is it, is it enough yet? No, probably not. Um, wait, where's the electricity? Like, Fine, I won't touch it. I promise. There. Thank you, I'm done. No, I'm good. Thanks. Thank you. There we go. Dang, it's my skills is back there. So, okay, my medicine's 55. But I need like 60 to talk to her. Surgery. Kind of curious. I think I have. Today's physician. Here we go. Hello. Talk. Christine raises an eyebrow. Those facial scars weren't done by the auto doc. The throat scar was. She nods slowly, then puts her hand in front of her throat, closes it slowly, then points at you. I can't restore your voice. We need a real auto doc to do that. She shivers silently and shakes her head. Slightly. I said slightly, did I? I understand why they shaved your you bald. Christine looks blankly at you, then touches her head, smiles, and shakes her head. Wait, the auto dunk shave you bald? She waves her hand and shakes her head. She then nods in the direction of the casino. No, wait. I want to hear this. You were bald before? She nods with an exasperated look, then makes a circle with her hands, repeats it twice more, then raises her hand and waves them like wings. She puts both hands in front of her, then makes a motion with her hands as if writing something. Ah, you were BOS Brotherhood of Steel Scribe. She nods. She looks impressed. How the hell did you get out here? She shrugs and she points to you and shrugs. Where were you before? She moves her finger in a wider circle then raises her hand over her eyes. You were looking for something. Shakes her, shakes her head and makes a motion of two figures walking. You are looking for someone. She nods and raises a finger. Hand. She nods and makes a motion with her hands around her chin, drawing it down, and then she raises her hand and clenches him in the sky. An angry bearded man! She points at your pit boy. Uh, you were looking for a vault boy? The man on the pit boy holotape, Elijah. She nods, looks concerned, taps the side of her head, then expands her hands. Uh, someone smart. She nods and circles her ear. nuts. She nods, frowns. Sounds like it's pretty important to you to find this person. She frowns, raises two fingers and then wa as they walk together, then she looks down at the two fingers and her face goes angry. She then chops her hand down and draws the two fingers apart. One of the finger she points at herself. He 
cut you off from someone. She nods. Family, husband. She frowns, shakes her head, and even more so at husband. Your wife? She shakes her head but rolls it side to side. Oh, girlfriend. She hesitates and waves her hand. You are more than girlfriends. Lovers? She nods and looks at you a little surprised. What, you think I don't understand love? She raises an eyebrow and looks at you. Alright, okay, I understand that. I understand how important a loved one can be. Whatever love is transistory or ended in gunfire. <laughs> I understand. She nods slowly, studying you. She seems to be gauging you again. She makes a slow circle motion after a moment, taps her wrist. I had other questions. She raises an eyebrow, then tilts her head slightly. Autodoc? I didn't bring you here. She frowns, glances at your feet, then nods. She then raises an eyebrow, points at you, makes a circle, then points at your feet. Morning, meow. She then raises a jagged. Pauses and draws a jade symbol electricity there, then puts on an odd starting face. She stands blank for a second and then slowly blinks, looks around, she looks at her hand, shakes them, and then lets them go limp. Now that's a specific form of brain surgery using electrodes pre-war. She nods slowly and then makes the motion of typing and drawing X's and lines in the air and then gives you a thumbs up. You can still do numbers and calculations. She nods. Other questions? Do you know what those machines around the villa are? Go ahead and get out of here. We'll just seal that way here. Let's trade. Alright, let's just go. Oh, because talking with you is, uh, oh god, just exciting. I have to talk to him. Reading sucks. Oh. Hologram status. First floor. Here it is. Aha! Hmm, let's see here. Okay, I don't need to pick up my new junk because I have enough random junk. Let's see this. Notes. Here, I'm looking for history. The history of the Madre. Aw. Hello, this is a control security hologram in this area. You may be able to disable the inner disable. Security for you. Ooh, watch out for them. Coffee mug, Zephyr, yeah. Doctor's back, thank you. Yeah. Uh, oh, yes, a terminal. Needed it, but well. Dispenser codes. Codes for the public dispensers arrived today. So Claire instructed us to. Oh, excuse me. So the Claire instructed us in their use in case of emergency. Should be, should be able to get items and other treat stems and other treatments from the machine. So Claire indicated it could dispense more based on the nature of the medical emergency or subject's condition. Among the codes, he kept asking if we could make sure the code for Medex was backed up. He must have said it three times. I don't think he realized it. Maybe this must be stress. Made a backup of the code on this terminal just in case. Yes! This 
is a restricted dispenser code for use in the vending machines. Whoopsie. 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 This leaves. Hello. Cloud kiss. HP. Ooh, martini. Some of those. Ghost sight. No, I don't need ghost sight. Ooh, hello. Hello, little chaps. Sierra Madre, please. Whatever you're good. Vending machine codes meant at. Oh, yeah. Somebody just fall down. Maybe just trip or something. I don't understand. I heard flop flop. Flop flop usually means somebody fell down, right? Claire, Miss Keys, transmitter to Sierra Madre, St. Clair, Miss Keys, transmitter to Sierra Madre, Domino, Miss Keys, transmitter to Chief Physician Service, St. Clair, proposed moving one out of Dr. Casino and scheduled business to Claire and Green. Okay, that didn't work at all, but you know, whatever. Oh, hey, this one. This one. Oh, and this one. <laughs> it's driving me crazy. Log in, log in, log in. Quick calendar. His key showed up today, signed Sinclair, escorted by Mr. Domino. He explained to me Miss Keys had developed a throat infection and asked if the auto dock could help. I asked about the Sierra Mudge's auto dock. He said he didn't want to alarm Sinclair. Ran some tests. Miss Keys' voice is fine. Her loss of voice was more listlessness, symptomatic of excessive medics' use. When I tried to speak to her about it, Mr. Domino intervened. I warned them too much of the chem could render a subject comatose, and Domino laughed. I lost my temper, he said. They'd return another time when I was in better spirits, despite that. Pleasant visit. Domino stopped by to ask about the test results and bear his voice. He seemed concerned she would lose her voice for the gala event. I told him if Miss Keys was concerned she should see me, and I would only disclose any medical information to her. I told him the auto docs were more than capable of healing Miss Keys' voice if she developed any throat infection, and we could even operate if need be if she tore her larynx. He seemed satisfied by the news, apologized amazingly enough, and left a bottle of wine as a token of his appreciation. I told him I felt like it was inappropriate. He insisted. I dumped it in the trash. Wow. Oh, what's that wine? What a jerk. We're making our way this way. Is it in here already? I don't want the coffee cup. Really. Oh yeah, then we went there. It was locked. And that's back downstairs. That's some Wonder Baloo. Wonder Baloo? Yeah, it's Wonder Baloo, everyone. Terminal. Alright, let's go. Let's get back to the... My brothers, Sam and Dean, once hunted down a giant gecko that was terrorizing the great of the Klamath. They got a big reward for it. Nice. Ah, Klamath. Thank you. Oh, 
kind of on the roofs. Oh, okay, that's cool. I just heard someone throw something and say before it hits me. Safer in the Sierra Madre. Nope, that's not a thing. That's a Dean's handprint. Here's some stuff. Not in combat. Crazy. They may think they're not coming. Alright, never mind. Well, that was amazing. Should have never left home. Very hard. Boo. Back to the fountain, and then Father Elijah's gonna tell us some more stuff, I'm sure. Oh, jeez. Find us! Find us! Ow! God! Son of a... Hold still, you rat bastard! Hey you! Don't come back! Check off. Anyways, let's use this. Return. All of these. Return these. Return these. And give me all the stim packs I can. Kids, I can get and it's gonna. All right, big winner. I'm a winner. All right, we're back. We're all here. Steam. This sounds stupid, but I, can you wait for me here? Uh, 
Let's part ways. Yes, I'm sure. Might be able to rip the pit boy off his arm without killing him. Hmm. All right, we're here. Did what you wanted. Human wasn't where I was going. Hello, lady. Hey, Father Dorcas. We're all here. Speak to Elijah at the fountain for further instructions. I went to my furniture. Come on. Trigger, would you? You old bastard. Speak to me. Right, we're all here. Everybody, oh, good. Jeez. Well done. Now for the festivities and your part in all this. The owner of the Sierra Madre, for whatever reason, keyed the grand opening to the gala event itself. It needs to be far off in order for the casino doors to open, as I've discovered. One person can't do it. So get your team into position indicated on your pit boy, then trigger it properly. You're so close now, don't let me down. Otherwise, I'll have to rely on the next team. How am I supposed to get to the markers on my map? I've unlocked the west and east gates to Puesta del Sol and Salida del Sol. Now that you've survived the villa, I need to get to my position. You don't need me to hold your hand anymore. I'll keep monitoring you via the transceivers through the villa. If I need to offer guidance, I will. What is the gala event? A display of lights, fireworks, music in the streets. A pre-war festival to mark the casino's opening. The bombs struck first. It is of no consequence, only firing the event is. Get the three in position, then travel to your position in Salida del Sol and trigger the gala. After that, the real work begins. The real work? What? Was this the warm up? Perhaps you think this is a simple robbery, a cheap casino heist. No, this is a heist of the centuries. We're not plundering Sierra Madre. We're plundering history, taking from the old world itself. It won't let its secrets go easily, not without a fight. I wouldn't expect anything less. Well, head it out then. I'd suggest taking the FEV reject to his position first. Although you may need his brutality and strength elsewhere first. As easy as the villa was to navigate. The outlying areas of the villa are far more dangerous, thicker with the ghost people, traps, and toxins. Use your team as I use you. Listen to your caller. Watch where you step. You are no use to be dead. <laughs> 